Ladies and gentlemen, here's the Colonel. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Coming up with new ones again. Help. Help, help. us, please. <laughs> help. Give us some ideas. <laughs> or we go with the same thing every time. So help. Please. Alright, give us your ideas down below. Um, Steve Ritter here. Who we got on camera today? Bella. Who? Bella! Bella, Bella, Bella. Oh, Sorry, Bella. Sorry, that might have been loud. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're uh, we're firing up. This. So today is a little bit of an appetizer. We're going to make some uh, garlic butter uh, Brussels sprouts. Now, Brussels sprouts, I have the ravishing Mrs. Ritter to thank. Grew up hated Brussels sprouts. I hated them. Could not stand them. She made uh, some Brussels sprouts uh, about a year and a half ago. She found a recipe for some. Um, just slow cooked in some butter on the on the stove, uh, fried fried up on the in a pan. Uh, it's my new my, one of my new favorites now. So I'm a I have to admit I'm a Brussels sprout fan now. So uh, what we're gonna do is it's just a real simple uh, slow cook them in butter and uh, and add some garlic and that's what we're gonna make today. So uh, first thing we're gonna do I've got a pan a big skillet back here the big the big uh, mama jamma back here. And uh, I've had it uh, kind of warming up now, so I see it uh, smoking a little bit. So I'm a little, uh, a little scared now. I don't want to drop butter in it, and have it burn. So I'm gonna take it off a little bit and let it cool down. So I'll talk to you a little bit as we're as we're going here. So uh, half a stick of butter. I've gone through it. This is a pound of uh, Brussels sprouts, right? Uh, which goes to prove, you know, can you have too much of a good thing? No, not when it comes to Brussels sprouts. So. These are like, they taste like little cabbages, you know? Don't you think, Bella? But better. Yeah, I used to not like cabbage either, so that was a problem for me. But, uh, and, uh, and deer love them, so I've, I've, I've trimmed them up a little bit here. Uh, these already, I'll show you what I did here. So, uh, I just took a nice knife, I just want to clip off the end here, pretty simple. And then I just cut them lengthwise, just like that, right? See it just, you see it fall over? Very <laughs> yes. cinematic. Right, so uh, and chuck them in the pot. Now this extra, these extra little bits and whatever, I put it on the pile of stuff to give my forest friends. I don't want to let anything go to waste. I hate throwing that kind of stuff away. I know that deer like Brussels sprouts. You know how I know that? How? Because I tried to grow a Brussels sprout plant <laughs> and they ate it. So I know that they love Brussels sprouts and you know, that's fine. I just wish that I could have some too. Deer are very selfish. Selfish animals. So, what about uh, salt and pepper to taste for the sure. Brussels? Yeah, we can do that too. I suppose we'll get them in there. Of course, the now the butter's got salt in it, so that's a good question. So, if probably at this point, it would just be pepper. Well, I don't know. You don't think so? That's what Mama says. All right, so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna put uh, put this in now. I'm not touching the pan. This is a special effect here. I'm not actually touching the pan. So don't want to burn the butter. So keep it keep it nice and we'll cook it nice and slow. So actually I did just burn myself there. So uh -oh. um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put this all in there. I got the pan all nice and coated. And then I, I wanna put my Brussels sprouts in and I'd like to put the flat side down uh, here. So just kind of make sure and I'm gonna just kind of play around with this. Get myself a spatula. Spread these around, cooking them. Try to flip these over. Test my spatula skills, Bella. <laughs> what do you think? Yes. I'm like a ninja with the spatula. Did you know that? Did I? I know studied that? under the Japanese masters' spatula skills. Wow. Put this back over on the heat. So I got it down real down real low. That's a half a stick of butter. And uh, and we'll just kinda just play around and flip these over. So yeah, you know, I am like like Steven Seagal studying overseas, you know. Of course okay. I'm a little nicer guy than he is, but you know. And then uh, these are gonna just cook slow. I'm gonna kinda see this butter here? This this is like a like the Lone Ranger out here. I'm going to kind of bring him around. 
let him wander the plane here. Ooh, I'm gonna already start to smell that cooking. Now I've got to where I, uh, like I said, I love Brussels sprouts now. now. I think they've got a lot of, what do they have? They have vitamin something in them. Mm -hmm. Vitamin A, I think. All right. Something. Something. <laughs> Something good for you. Something. They, they're good and they, and they taste good. So anything with dark green in it, you know, is, is good. <laughs> now, if they could just make dark green butter, then you know you wouldn't feel so guilty eating it, oh. so much of it, don't you think? But then it wouldn't be as appealing, would it, if it was dark green? Well, unless great dark green was your kind favorite of a, color. Oh, or mine you were Irish. for Tanya. I guess if you were Irish, it would be like the perfect butter, right? Is butter green in Ireland? That is a... no. <laughs> well, it, That it, sounds know. like a generalization. <laughs> well, I'm just wondering, I mean, granted, you know, we've been over there in Ireland. It was a beautiful country. Kerry Gold butter, is that comes in a green pack. <laughs> but it's not mm. green. Are you going to add the salt and pepper? Uh, or I'm no? Gonna, I'll put, I want, to, I want this down low and cook slow. You don't want these to, to burn, so you kind of keep an eye on them. So I got them all flipped over now. You see how skillfully I did this while you were talking. It's, I was like, I'm like a spatula ninja. You didn't even know I was there doing that, did you? I was here. I did. I did know you were doing it, but we're gonna say I did it. Surprise! <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just crack some fresh pepper over this. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and just for you, Bella, I will put a little bit of salt on there. Okay. Uh huh. Now, now the, the butter salted butter, so take take her easy. But salt, you know, so good. a lot of people are what? Nothing. A lot of people are, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean that that have you know high blood pressure and everything else are, are anti. So I guess if you don't do too much of it, um, but salt really does make food taste uh, taste better. It really brings the taste out. It helps really pop, especially meats and stuff. So you you pretty much need salt. When you cook yes. meats, right? Is salt good for you? Well, you need it. Yeah. You know? That's where they, why they invented uh, Gatorade. True, true. Because, um, and there's the actually... The electrolytes. You know what's funny, interesting, we, we would, I would, when I was teaching JROTC, we, we would do summer camp, and uh, we would keep pushing that so much, drink water, water, water. We had a nurse there who said, you know, you can actually flush your electrolytes out if you just drink nothing but water, just pure water. It actually, you need, when you're sweating a lot outside of the hot, you need those electrolytes. You need the, some salt and stuff, and that's kind of where they, they, they developed the Gatorade there at, what, University of Florida, right? So, this just cooking nice and slow, and this butter here. And if it gets too dry, I might drop a little more butter in there, but this is looking okay. This, and it smells wonderful. Now, Come with me. Um, what I've got now, I've got six uh, small cloves of garlic, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get those ready. Um, yeah, I like this technique. I just kind of just crush them with the flat of the knife, and then I'm gonna dice them up. And then toward the end, probably the last, those those uh, Brussels sprouts will cook for about 20 minutes, and then about the last, uh, oh. About 10 minutes or so, I'll, uh, I'll uh, put the diced uh, garlic on there. Right. It smells good. You saw I was looking for the assist there, didn't you? A little bit. <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong Last with that. Five minutes. Now, folks. Did you hear? We, we, I guess you'll never know who he's looking at, but, you know. Sasquatch. <laughs> Sasquatch. <laughs> you no, know, she probably is around, but you never see her. <laughs> Bigfoot, true or real? <laughs> oh my oh, gosh. That's my silent technical assistant <laughs> who shall not be named. <laughs> she's a, she who shall not be named. She's the Voldemort of uh, the kitchen.
<laughs> you know who. <laughs> oh. All right, so crushing it, getting all this. Uh, oh, there it is. I almost had, almost one, almost got away, fella. I don't want to waste them. Now you kind of keep drifting back and forth, just kind of keeping an eye on these, and uh, you can see there. And it'll slowly kind of cook the water out of them too. So, but uh, see how the bottoms here? You know, you just kind of kind of move them around a little bit. You don't want them to burn, but they'll brown up a little bit like that on the bottom there with that butter. So, now in this this pan here, I. That's, that's one thing, if you just throw a cold cast iron pan on here, I found, uh, and turn it on and then throw food in, you're going to have the middle of it's going to be hot. And that's the thing about the cast iron that I've, I've learned is it, it takes it a while for the heat to radiate out, especially in a pan this big, to radiate out to the edges there. So that's why I kind of had it on ahead of time to warm up. Um, and then, because uh, you'll end up with a hot spot in the middle, and then, you know, the outsides, it'll take it a while. But once it's all heated up, that's the thing about the cast iron, is you also, as a technique, you also have to kind of go, okay, well, if it takes me 10 minutes, I actually need to turn the heat off the last minute or so, and the pan will stay hot, you know. You can do it that way also, so uh, just a couple of little techniques. So just kind of keeping it going, keep it, keep it going here, kind of pushing this stuff to the outside. To Slow cook it. But it's smelling good. I can smell that. So I get this is going to go on my offering to the forest friends. It's a big pile. <laughs> yeah. They're going to eat good tonight, huh? I read somebody's comment. They said they put deer corn out. Hoping that, you know, okay, well, I'll give them that and maybe they'll, uh, they'll leave my stuff alone and the deer would eat the deer corn and then eat his hydrangeas for dessert. So, oh. like I said, deer, they're selfish. <laughs> they don't share. Now they're nice enough that they'll, uh, if you ever noticed, if you have like a garden or something, you'll see where they'll come along and they'll just nip off the tops of, uh, of plants and, and they'll go along. So they, they come and they'll do that because they come around like every, uh, they'll probably come through the yard maybe once every, you know, four days or something like that, which gives the plant time to grow back. Did you know that? Mm. So they're smart enough not to eat it all the way down to the ground and yeah. kill it. Sheep will do that. Those of you that are sheep farmers out there, you can back me up, but sheep will eat grass all the way down to the root and kill it. And uh, cows and, and deer will also will, uh, they'll, uh, they'll just nip the tops off and, uh, and give it time to grow back, which the grass needs, because uh, the, so the grass, it actually, uh, there's, a, there's a sweet spot for grass when it's like the most sweetest and, and has the most energy packed in it in its growth bloom and growth, growth spurt. So I learned that watching uh, Joel Salatin, hmm. you know. So hoping to go see his farm here in a week or so. That would be very cool. So I'm just kind of dicing up this uh, garlic here while I'm just waiting. All right. So the garlic's diced. Brussels sprouts are cooking nice and slow. Uh, what we're gonna do? We'll, we'll we'll take a break. We'll let these cook a little bit more. In about the last five minutes or so, we'll come back, put the garlic in, and kind of finish it up. So uh, we'll be right back. All right. So it's probably been about 10 to 15 minutes or so. I've got my garlic all chopped up now. We're going to go ahead and put that in here. I think we're probably about maybe five minutes out from uh, these being ready. Great. So the diced garlic goes in. Kind of work that in too so that garlic gets all cooked up kind of stir it in there. You can see some of it where it's brown on the little bottom there. Kind of flip it over a little bit, try to cook it all around now. Get that garlic all infused in there with the butter. Butter and garlic, man, that's like, that's like Oreos and milk, isn't it? <laughs> can you think of two things, peanut butter, jelly? Bread and butter. Bread, oh, yeah, bread and butter. <laughs> I'm sending uh, a kind Popcorn thing. and Coke. 
Popcorn and butter? Popcorn and, or not popcorn. Coke and pizza. Oh yeah, that's good together. Coke and a, what's better, Coke and pizza or Coke and a burger? Mmm. Yeah, pizza probably with Coke, huh? I don't know. You know what, my, my, my dad told me that uh, when he was a kid, and this is probably a southern thing, but they used to order a Coke from the, from the, from the drugstore or whatever, mm -hmm. and they would put peanuts in it. Oh and yeah, you told me that. Or peanuts in it, and the peanuts would sink down to the bottom. And I have to admit that I've tried that a couple of times. I'll pour. I've heard it's in. good. It, it actually is pretty good, yeah. So I'm just kind of looking for these to soften up now, and oh, that garlic in there, and the garlic in there. We want that to soften up, obviously, because you ever eat raw garlic? Yeah. You get a piece of that. It's kind of hot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a little strong. So we've probably got a few more minutes here on this. What else goes good together? I say I would say steak and potato. Yeah. Um, what else? Um, chicken and french fries. <laughs> <laughs> that was My your, younger self would say that. <laughs> that was your summertime uh, lunch, wasn't it, every day? Chicken fingers and French fries, and you get they get the little the little uh, bacon pan out and uh, and and fire up their own chicken fingers and French fries for lunch. It was yeah, either Benjamin or I, and we would be like, "Hey, you want some chicken and French fries?" <laughs> I think you about about almost turned into a chicken. You had so much chicken fingers and French fries. Well, now it's turned into sandwiches, hasn't it? <laughs> Well, not for me. That's what your for mom, Benjamin. That's what your mom said that one time. She said, "You keep eating that, you're gonna turn it into a sandwich." <laughs> How's that happen? Could you turn into a sandwich? If you wanted to. I guess if someone's <laughs> gonna eat you, if you just happen to fall between two pieces of bread and then a all you need home. is faith, trust, and pixie dust. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Have I mentioned that already? I don't know. That was from Peter Pan, wasn't it? Well, I mean pixie dust. Oh, yeah. Now I'm just kind of cooking this. When you this. describe. I cook this whole time on uh, like low, medium low heat. And just kind of get a sense. You don't want to burn it. You don't want to cook it too fast. It, it, the slower you cook it, the more even it'll be. And the, uh, the more... Uh, cook through and softer it'll be too so and I forgot to mention one thing too when you when you check in the Brussels sprouts you cut the tips off just check the outside too sometimes you'll get like a like a little nasty bit and you can kind of peel off that part you don't have to throw the whole thing away you can take the offending leaves <laughs> and give them to your forest friends or put them in your compost pile or something like that um, but you can see so you know did you know that Brussels sprouts are actually related to cabbage. Did you know that? Makes sense. Brussels sprouts and cabbage and cauliflower are all related. Cauliflower? Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that? Oh. Or was it was... broccoli? No, cauliflower. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Little known fact. Now you know. <laughs> Was it you and was it you or I don't know Benjamin did, but did you too the the Uncle John's bathroom readers? Uh, I didn't read those as much. No, no. That was uh, the fount of a lot of y'all's uh, knowledge growing up. So <laughs> these are uh, these look like they're about done. Do I have a fork yet? Let me try with these. So I'm looking for them to be. I, I don't like them super soft. Oh. <laughs> mm. It was a little bit longer. That one still had a little bit of the raw taste to it, so I'm going to give it a little bit longer here. Can you smell it? 
Did we get the smell meter fixed? Did we? Yeah. Go ahead and put it on. Give him a whiff of that. Smell the butter Ooh. and the garlic. Mm. Some of these I'm going to push to the outside of the pan that really look done. And I'll keep the ones that maybe aren't quite as done looking. I'm going to get those to the middle here. That's all I'm going to do. Using my ninja skill skills. So that's about uh, 20 to 25 minutes or so. Uh, put the garlic in about the last, last five minutes or so. I think they're just about done. I'm about ready to pull these off. Scoop these out, give them a try. We're gonna have some chicken tonight and rice. This will go real nice with those. So scoop them all out. Should get all that garlicky goodness out of there. Alright. Now that some uh, sautéed uh, Brussels sprouts with uh, with butter and garlic. Try one here. Mm. Very nice. Great. I'm gonna have two. That Make sure you finish <laughs> chewing. <laughs> That's a hot one. What am I gonna learn, Bella? I don't know. So there you go. That's what we're gonna have tonight. Nice, simple, and easy. And and believe me, they're really good. Even if you don't like Brussels sprouts, give them a try. Uh, a little butter, a little garlic. Butter makes everything better. That's a theme, right? Uh -huh. All right. Your motto. Any questions? That's a motto. Everybody needs a motto, right? <laughs> right. Butter makes everything better. <laughs> yes. Okay. So. <laughs> Um, any questions, if you have any questions down below, uh, just leave it in the comments and let us know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the little bell, right? What's the bell do again? Does it play notifies. Christmas carols? No, it notifies you when we post. Oh yeah, there you go. So you'll know when we, when we post a video. So uh, in the meantime, this is the Colonel saying over and out. See you, Bella. See ya.